and we're back. Welcome to the GSL with Taste and Artosis. Taste and Artosis, the casting Archon. We just saw Jinro get eliminated. We did. It's sad. He will be back, of course. We all love Jinro dearly. But Hongan was a better player this he day. He definitely played better. But enough about that. On to our next match. We're going to have July Zerg against Clyde. This might be one of the greatest matches of all time. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Clyde, Guys. one of our favorites. Yeah. He's one of the best players in the world. Has been since very early on. Uh, TSL's best Terran player. Yeah. Just such a solid force, and he always has been, but we've cursed him tasteless. We talked him up too much, and now he keeps losing stuff, but yeah. maybe this is time. The greatest player that hasn't won something. Yes, exactly. The greatest player who has not won something. Against July Zerg, who is, of course, the uh, Golden Mouse winner. He's, he's July Zerg, man. He's amazing he's so in every good, way. So accomplished. And his Zerg vs. Terran is so good. This matchup's going to be amazing. It's going to be so sick. Amazing. Amazing. You got to really put. Amazing. You gotta make the Amazing. Cannot wait to see the results. Don't know who's going to win. Feel like it's 50 50. Yeah, you know, this is, I, it's hard to guess, but my guess is Clyde will win and win the GSL finally. Finally. It's We're going to find season. out. It's Clyde time, baby. It Woo. is. Woo. Make sure you guys are talking about this on all your little social networking Get stuff. Spread Twitter. it. Spread the word. Spread the word. Clyde is the word. Spread that. I want that trendy topic. That's right. General loss. It's sad. It's time to put our hearts and souls behind July Zerg and yes. Clyde, whoever you may be rooting for. Let's All right. Go and ahead speaking and of that, let's go ahead and throw our players up on the screen for you guys to see. Clyde and July Zerg. July on the left, Clyde on the right. It's going to be a Zerg versus Terran a classic StarCraft matchup. Yep. Both StarCraft 1 pros. Uh, July Zerg, of course, much more uh, popular and accomplished in StarCraft 1. Clyde became a coach in StarCraft 1 towards the end. Now he went back to his pro gamer career. And uh, boy, am I glad he did taste this. Me too. TSL stands for the SCV Light ST. Stands for Startail. Two very, very formidable teams. Yeah, two of the very best. They and train they hard. Yeah. They both share letters, ST and TSL. Wow, like they have so much plus L. Look at that. Yeah. Who would have thought it? Me. That's why I said it. That's why you said it. Get your act together. Taste this. I'm sorry, Artosis. I dropped the ball. Uh, so as you can see here for July Zerg, he only has 130 GSL points, but um, his win rate against Terran is pretty good. Five wins, one loss. Yep. Made Code of Eight. Uh, code A, round of eight last season, got into the Code S. This is his first try at Code S. Obviously, our points feature is new here at the GSL, so as future GSLs come along, yeah. those points will begin to increase. That's right. That's right. I wouldn't lie to you guys. You guys got to trust me. They care, trust you, Taste. care about you, nerds. They would follow you into the depths of, of hell. If I, of I steps of war. <laughs> to the depths of steps of war. Incineration zone. Now. Uh, like, that's not very deep. That's only like two steps. I know. That's why we don't play that map anymore. <laughs> now, here is TSL Clyde. 450 points. Yeah. 6% wins against Zerg. His TVZs against some of these top Zergs that he's lost to, it's normally 1 2, and it's normally amazing. Like, Lean Ock Bowie, amazing set. Uh, a lot of amazing sets from him. I'm amazing. This is amazing. Cannot wait, Clyde. Um, it's been a formidable opponent every GSL, although he did lose in the round of 64 in season 2 and 3. He's here uh, in Code S. You can't take the pressure that we put on him, Tasteless. Yep. The map is going to be Zelnaga Caverns. Great map. I think it's a map we've actually cast the most on. I think so, Tasteless. And I'm maybe not... played the most on, too. Yeah, that's definitely true for me. I definitely end up, I don't have this map marked off on my uh, laddering mm. list. It's uh, quite a classic map. Now, there's going to be a lot of mind games in the early game here, Tasteless. Sometimes Clyde uh, goes for Hellion, sometimes he doesn't. Because if you go Roach, they're going to be bad. If you go Zergling, they're going to be good. It's a very wide open natural. Hard to defend with uh, Spine Crawlers. Of course, two barracks openings can be quite nice as well because of that. What will Clyde do? I don't know. What will Jizerg? We especially don't know because. Could be Muta play. Jizerg mixes up, man. Sometimes he Baneling busts, yep. sometimes he macro games. Who knows? Certainly not. We're going to find out soon enough here. Get ready for some awesome TVZ action here. A legend of StarCraft 1 against a new school StarCraft 2 Gosu. Duking it out here to get to the round of 8 in the GSL Season 5. Let's do this. 
This is the GSL. In the upper right on our one-on-one -on -one map, our Zerg player, one of the most successful Zerg F1 Zergs of all time. Start the age light. Yeah. And there's a shot of him now. In the bottom left, our blue player, the name I most associate with serial killers, he is... Kissy Clyde. Why? This guy has killed a lot of nerds. He has indeed, Tasteless. Such a solid Terran. The light alive of StarCraft II. For reals. So amazing, everyone knows it, never wins. This never could wins be his chance, this could be his wins GSL. enough games to be around. Uh, yeah, and I think it definitely could be. I mean, he just keeps getting better and better, getting better with his nerves, getting better with the curse that we cast on him each season. Yeah, by talking up too much. Yeah. You think the troll headhunter from Stark from Warcraft 3 had curses, Tasteless? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Tastosis Archon is a dark Archon, but instead <laughs> of feedback, we got Curse Clyde. <laughs> Start with enough mana to cast that thing in Season 1. Been charging up ever since. And that uh, is an instantaneous... Uh, it's not a missile. It's not a missile. No, man. You, you just, just cast it and hits him. Barracks is almost done. And um, all Terrans will wall in against a Zerg. You don't want to get rushed with Zerglings. Yeah. Uh, of course, you don't want to be forced into making a ton of Marines early. So the wall in gives you a, a lot more to choose from. You want to tech. Yeah. I think Clyde is going to go for Hellions this game, if I had to guess. Hellions are getting more and more popular. They're very yeah. good. It's, it's just like StarCraft 1 tastes. It takes a while to figure out how to use them correctly and micro them correctly. Yeah, it's what like situations? The vulture. Because a uh, Vulture doesn't actually beat anything attack move heads up, really. A few things, yes, okay. Well, it has to be micromanaged. But, yeah, it has to be micromanaged. It has to be put into the right scenarios, which people are learning with Hellions. But uh, after I've said all that, it does not look like we're going to see Hellions. In fact, it's just going to be a Reaper, oh. which is a good opening as well. Clyde tried to hide a bunker behind the minerals. The drones did spot it, and that will be canceled in the last second. Now, here's the cool thing about that. Those drones have lost more mining time than canceling that bunker cost Clyde. Yep. True so, that. So, uh, little moves like that can be quite nice. Now, uh, you know, these Reaper first builds are really good against hatchery first. But against speed first, quite bad. See, it is a hatchery first build, but no speed. Approaches instead, so it's going to be completely fine against the Reaper. Reaper shouldn't do too much damage. Reaper heading up to the north, and he will deny the Zerg from controlling the Zelnaga Watchtowers. However, uh, in this match, if you do go Reaper first, the Overlords can still spot. Well, July Zerg, droning up a bit. Roach Warren is on the way. Hellion's gonna wanna figure out exactly what he's doing. Queen, trying to make a Queen sandwich. Some Reaper peanut butter in the center. Nice micro there by Clyde. Yeah. Not really necessary, but pretty nice. You can uh, have the Reaper kind of scrape by the edge of the creep, wait for a creep tumor to pop up, and then kill it. And, and wow. Clyde, yeah, just adding some barracks after his command center. Might be going for a stim timing, because stim is already over half done. And against roaches, if you go a Marauder Heavy Stim Timing, sometimes you can hit them just right. But, yeah, of course, Shalai Zerg will start his speed upgrade relatively soon. You cannot go Roach without Speedling afterwards. Because then someone just makes a bunch of Marauders goes, L O L, like just holds on the L key for a minute and makes like some ones and some, some exclamation points, maybe an ampersand even. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? Just spamming, just clicking your fingers around, clicking your clack, clicking your clack. No! You've got to go speedling after Roach against Terran. It's good. Now, the uh, <laughs> the uh, Zerg actually is going to get inside here and see the pass command center. Did he see the barracks? Can you check them? He did yeah, see he did. two of them. That's more than enough. So he knows that there's at least three barracks. The difference between three and four, though, is not If, if there's only three, it means there could be a factory. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of a... 
how the supporting of these buildings works at this time of year. Now, Stim has been finished. Some Marauders and Marines are being made. Clyde not choosing to land his uh, command center yet. Speed on the way for July Zerg, as said. Uh, so is a layer and a ton of drones. In fact, he's got... July Zerg has 46 drones and adding a third hatchery right now. July Zerg's macro is going to be off the charts, Tasteless. There was a chart. It would look like what happened to Enron's stock, but upside down. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Do you know back when uh, the economy was doing so bad, the only stocks that went up were the ones for canned food? Wow. Think about that. Wow. Campbell's soup, man. Campbell's soup. Yeah, Campbell's soup. I stocks. like Campbell's tomato soup. Sometimes I put that on some pasta. It's pretty you good. ever had mushroom soup? Yeah, it's mushroom pretty, soup's pretty, okay. pretty good. It's okay. pretty good. Now, we got a creep tumor team to come out here, and that's exactly what you want to do if yep. you're a Terran. You say, all right, where are the creep tumors? Now, oh, Clyde actually, actually you know, really. He's actually gonna do, I thought he was just going to go for the creep tumors. He's getting quite aggressive paces. 24 Zerglings are being hatched by July Zerg. This may be not the best idea ever. If he can get that hatchery, though, and then retreat, that might not be so bad. Yeah, this is very good micro by both players, but Clyde, I think he's overcommitting here. And a ton of Zerglings coming out. Drones coming as well, but he gets into Taste of Secret Hallway. And now, now he can't around. be surrounded so he's easily. It's going to be almost impossible. Oh my god, Great Clyde's so job good. by Clyde. In fact, takes out July's Overlord there. And even though July should be able to deal with these units. Well, the amount of uh, Zerg units that are being killed off here in comparison to the amount uh, oh. the amount that July Zerg is making. Yeah. Uh, and the amount of the small number that uh, Clyde is actually losing. This is a very effective attack. It is. He's going to loop around and regroup. In the meantime, Clyde has landed his command center as an expansion. That hatchery almost died, Tasis. I wonder if Clyde will try to perhaps go up and snipe that hatchery off. We see July Zerg making a ton of units still, still making Zerglings and Roaches, getting his plus one pair of pace. Here come down some speedlings, though. Clyde microing back. Very nice micro so far. And Clyde's going to come out on top here. Yes, he is. Man. July Zerg's in a lot of trouble, Clyde. Definitely being the boss on this map. Yeah. I've got to go back to what we saw earlier. He realized that, that uh, July Zerg was setting up to sandwich him. So he stemmed and he darted up yeah. to that area in the upper left. And um, that was just brilliant. Tasteless. That's why we call it the Tasteless Secret Hallway. Oh. It's so powerful if you know about it and how to use it. Don't tell anybody. Keep it a secret. Just between us and you guys. Tweet about the GSL tonight. Hashtag it, but nothing about the hallway. Don't mention the hallway, guys. Only Clyde and a few of us know. Yeah. Now, all right. Uh, so uh, are stuck on two bases for a while now. He is, but uh, Roach Speed just finished. Bailing Speed almost done. Plus one Carapace almost done. He's making a ton of Zerglings. I feel like we're going to see a very high economy attack here by July Zerg with Speed Banes out. I don't know, man. There's no Siege Shanks yet. Clyde's trying to get to them. But uh, just these bunkers, I don't think will be enough. You know what? He July Zerg's going to try to end it right now. That's the kind of risky player we know, July Zerg. Oh, and here, here we go! The Bailey's coming down, hitting the bunkers, but actually not doing enough damage here. One bunker still remains. The SCVs might be in trouble, though, at the natural. And a mule being dropped. Just to get in the way, it looks like. Nope. Clyde just thumbing up the controls, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Looks like some good micro by Clyde running back up the nice. ramp. Target fires the Banelings as they run up the ramp. Now more roaches are coming down. July Zerg needs to, to force this command center to lift off. That's going to cost him a lot of mule mining time, so that's good by July Zerg. And overall, I would say July, uh, he's doing a great job, man. I don't know if, how long he's going to be able to live through this. July Zerg making more Banelings, as you see right there, has a bunch of roaches left. He's at 108 supply, gets 84 of Clyde. He's committed to ending this now. Yeah, in fact, he's making just Zerglings and Banelings right now, just rallying them down.